So a Stokes five. So th there is a strong hint in the statement of the problem that we're going to take advantage of. And that is that when you look at the formula for this vector field, um, P, Q, and R, right? Note that R depends on X, Y, and Z, but P and Q don't. P only depends on X and Z, and y, uh, Q only depends on Y and Z. So when we start, so when we compute the curl of this vector field, some nice stuff is going to happen. Right, so let's write down what that is, actually. And by the way, why am I computing the curl of this vector field anyway? Well, because I'm being asked to compute a line integral around a boundary of a surface. So I know I can use Stokes' curl theorem, and so let's just see what would happen if we did, right? So, okay, so we're computing the curl of, uh, okay, P is a function of X and Z, Q is a function of Y and Z, and R is a function of X, Y, and Z. Okay. So, remember the curl is the Y partial of R minus the Z partial of Q. Let's see here. Uh, yeah. So the, um, and the Z partial of Q is that's I mean that's non-trivial. So let's see here. Uh, now the next thing is going to be the Z partial of P minus the X partial of R. Well, that's okay. All right. Let's see the partial. Oh, uh, sure. Okay, and then the last thing here is going to be the, uh, let's see, it's the x partial of q, oh, that's zero, right, the x partial of q, there are no x's in it, so I'm going to have zero, and then minus the y partial of p, ah, also zero. So that's what my curl looks like. Does that make sense? So the problem asks, we're going to compute a line integral around this curve. Now that curve is given to be the boundary of uh, S. And so I can rewrite this as flux through S of curl F dot DS. And of course, that I can rewrite because I know what this curl is. It's um, a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff, and zero. And this ds vector I can also simplify because, in particular, I know something very valuable about this surface. The surface is entirely contained within, it says, uh, inside of the plane z equals c. So I've got this surface. It's sitting inside of that plane, and I don't know exactly you know, what it is in there, but the surface is inside of that plane, and so I can use that as its normal vector, just 0, 0, 1 as the unit normal. Does that make sense? This dot product is clearly 0, so I have scalar surface integral of 0 ds. And that is zero as desired. Is that cool? Okay. Everybody else happy with this? How did you know it was upwards or did you just choose uh, it? It's arbitrary. Um, it's a good question. Uh, in fact, the way that the problem is phrased, uh, it doesn't say, it just says S is an oriented surface inside the plane, and so it could go either way. So what I should probably do, thanks for noticing that, I should probably say, well, this is either plus or minus, and I'm not sure which this is. It could be either plus or minus, but it still doesn't matter. It's still zero, right? But yeah, no, good point, absolutely. Everybody good? Okay. All right.